Glad to welcome you to my channel, I've prepared three very scary stories about a pizza delivery guy. One late night, Jeff was working as a pizza delivery man in a small town on the outskirts of town. It was a quiet and gloomy evening, and the gusts of cold wind only added to the feeling of unease. Jeff was probably one of the bravest guys in town, but on this night he couldn't fight the feeling that something untoward lay ahead of him. A call with an order interrupted his ominous musings. There was a quiet rustle on the other end of the line and after a long pause, a nasty and nasally voice spoke, asking for a pizza delivery to an abandoned mansion on. Payment would be by credit card. As per usual procedure, Jeff couldn't get any names or addresses from the customer. But his curiosity got him thinking about reporting to the police. However, there were few police in the neighborhood where he worked, so Jeff decided to check out this mysterious order himself. The mansion on was old and abandoned. The windows were broken, the wooden doors were covered in mold, and there was a foul odor throughout the building. Jeff didn't like the look of the place, but he decided to stay and see if his disbelief was for nothing. He stood in front of the entrance, not knowing what awaited him. The door was ajar and a dark shadow showed itself inside. Jeff stepped inside determinedly, as he looked around, he found strange and bizarre paintings hanging on the walls, portraits of unknown faces with grim expressions. Finally Jeff reached the far room where he saw a table with a single chair. A credit card lay on the table, giving off a faint flickering light. He lifted the card to check the owner's name and then a low whispering sound came from the back of the room nearby. Jeff nearly dropped the card, startled by that ominous voice. He followed the voice and found himself in front of a slammed closet. Stepping closer, Jeff opened the doors and saw a bound woman. The woman was terrified, she told Jeff her unpleasant story that someone had brought her to this mansion and she had fallen asleep and woke up here. They heard footsteps outside the room, Jeff and the woman were gripped by panic. Deciding to act quickly, Jeff and the woman climbed through a window in the backyard of the mansion. They ran through the night, afraid to stop for a second. When they reached safety and called the police, it turned out that the owner of the mansion had been wanted for a long time. He had been using the mansion as a hideout and a place for his business. Jeff and the woman were able to escape, but the horrific experience changed them forever. My name is Daniel, and I've worked as a pizza delivery man for many years. In all that time, I've had to deal with quite a few strange stories, but one of them had a big impact on my life. It was last year, on a dark and cold October morning. There was a heavy fall darkness outside the window and the streets were nearly empty. I received an order with an address. It was a fairly well-known street in town, but this particular address gave me an inexplicable sense of unease. Despite my premonition, I decided to put it behind me and deliver the order as usual. When I arrived at the location, I was overcome with a strange feeling that something was wrong with me. The house I was supposed to deliver the pizza to really looked scary. It was covered in curly cobwebs and the windows were boarded up with wooden planks. Looking at this house became harder and harder for me. Inside, something was stirring, and I knew with certainty that I should have left this place immediately. But I was persistent enough and decided to climb the wooden steps and knock on the door. Suddenly the door creaked and opened ajar. I stepped inside. It was cold and dark inside, and I could hear a noise from somewhere under the floor. I heard footsteps and rustling sounds behind me, but I didn't dare turn around. Suddenly I felt someone's cold breath on my neck. I flinched and turned around, but saw no one. However, the feeling of someone's eyes on me was unstoppable. I realized that I had to get out of here. I quickened my steps and hurried down the stairs. But when I reached the exit, the door was locked. I exerted all my strength to get out. The moment I was able to get out, a loud shriek went up from inside the house. I rushed away without looking back outside. When I reached my car, I felt a sense of freedom and relief. I decided to report the incident to the police and they interviewed me. It turned out that the place was known as the House of the Curse, and there were many stories of strange events and disappearances associated with the house. From that day on, I never delivered pizza down that street again. And to this day, I still remember that frightening night with trepidation. Once upon a time, in a small town surrounded by deep forests, there lived a young and fearful guy named Mike. 
He worked as a pizza delivery man at the local pizzeria, and every night he set out on his old bicycle to deliver orders to his customers. One day an order came in for a delivery to an old isolated homestead on the outskirts of town. Everyone knew it was an unusual place that hadn't seen any activity for years. But to Mike, this was just a regular job, and he figured it was just another pizza delivery. Leaving the pizzeria, Mike took his order and got on his bike. The path to the manor led through thick and gloomy forests, which gave rise to horror stories and rumors among the locals. As they approached the mansion, Mike felt an inexplicable atmosphere of fear and mystery enveloping the place. Crossing the threshold of the mansion, Mike felt a strange presence accompanying him in every step. As he moved deeper inside, Mike heard vague rustles and screams coming from somewhere far away. It was very frightening, but Mike decided to keep walking. Finding a room that had a light on, Mike knocked on the door and suddenly it slowly opened. The scene that opened before him seemed like a nightmare. The room was practically empty except for an old TV screen that was running at full volume. Mike's fear only intensified as insane laughs and whispers surrounded him on all sides. Suddenly the lights went out and total darkness set in. Mike tried to see what was going on. Suddenly he heard a low whisper near his ear. It was so frightening that he almost fell to the floor with fear. But to his surprise, the whisper came again, only this time it sounded louder and more distinct. Mike didn't understand what it was about, but he felt time working against him. Panic gripped Mike and he rushed for the exit, but the door slammed shut before his eyes, robbing him of his last chance. He remained trapped in the manor, filled with darkness and fear in all its corners. Mike wandered senselessly around the manor, hearing ghostly footsteps behind him. He collapsed to the floor in sheer despair. His screams woke up some ghost who was slowly approaching him. Gathering his last strength, Mike rose to his feet and met its bold gaze. The ghost loomed in the darkness, its eyes filled with a terrible fire. He whispered something to Mike, and a couple minutes later, the manor house crumbled into ashes, and Mike found himself out in the fresh air, away from this cursed place. Mike returned to the city as if from a nightmare he had just experienced. He never delivered pizza again and tried to forget what had happened to him. But what that ghost said to him, and how Mike got out of there, remains a mystery. What do you think of the first story? You liked it, write in the comments, which story you liked the most.